Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you my November customer thank you cards um, and I decided to use the Thankful Thoughts stamp set. I love this set because it's got so many different thank you sentiments for the outside of your card and then it's also got a coordinating message to go on the inside. So this is a really great stamp set. This is in our current annual catalog. I actually uh, featured this set last December um, in Club Quidabug. So really, really great set to have in your collection. So here are the cards that I created um, for my November customer thank you cards. So I love how these cards turned out and I was so excited. I used the Quilted Christmas Designer Series paper. Um, so this is Christmas paper, but it's very non-traditional, so you don't have to necessarily make Christmas cards with it, and it had so many different fun colors featured in that designer series paper. So I decided to share with you a thank you design, because after the holidays, you're going to need a lot of thank you cards, right? So I thought this would be a fun design for you all to use um, as an idea to make your um, holiday thank you cards. So I really love how they turned out, and they used um, a ton of the, <clears throat> excuse me, I used a ton of the different patterns and then I coordinated them with black um, or contrasted with a little bit of black and it just really pops. Um, I love how they look. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these colors. Let me see some of the other ones. There's another one. I tried to use every pattern in the designer paper. I think there's only two or three patterns that I didn't use. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, I love that lemon lime twist with the black and red. Let me see. I've got more in here. This one, that's really pretty. And then this one, I'm going to share with you how to create today in the video. And then I've got one more design in here, and that's this one. Aren't they so cute? I love how they turned out. And then for my thank you gifts, um, what I did is, you guys know I like the gifts to kind of coordinate <laughs> with the cards. So what I did is, in this um, Quilted Christmas paper, it had a very geometric feel to me. Um, so I wanted to make sure that the gift coordinated um, with the design of the cards. So I went to my Swirly Bird stamp set because there are a lot of fun little geometric looking images in there. And I chose these two images right here and I used those images to decorate my ribbon spools. So I shared with you a couple of months ago, what well, not a couple, it's been several months now, but I shared with you several months ago how to create these little paper ribbon spools. So I'll have the um, measurements on today's blog post, but uh, and you can click the link below the video to get to that blog post. But I used that stamp set to um, add kind of a geometric look to the ribbon spools as well and used coordinating colors so that they match. So each ribbon spool has a yard of our gold 1 8 inch metallic ribbon. Really great ribbon. So I'm just going to show you all the colors that I did here. here. We go. So here are the different colors that I used. So Blushing Bride, Pool Party, um, Lemon Lime Twist, Real Red, and Garden Green. And then if you spent $75 or more in my online Stampin' Up! store using the host code in November, you'll receive a full spool of the metallic um, gold 1 8 inch ribbon. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I love how quick and easy these cards are to create, especially if you need to make a lot of them. It's a really great design. So I'm going to stamp that big thank you so much um, sentiment in real red. This is my favorite thank you in that stamp set. I love the bubbly font. To me, it's bubbly. It's like thick and chunky. I'm very happy. So I'm going to stamp that just like that in my real red. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Big Shot and cut this out. This is using the largest circle um, in the layering circle framelits. And then I'm going to take my Blushing Bride cardstock. This is cut at four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm going to use the largest scallop circle in the layering circle framelits. And I'm going to die cut this out of the center so that I can save on paper. It's a really great uh, way to conserve paper. All right, so in case you're not familiar with the layering circle framelit dies, this is how they come. You actually get 16 dies in the um, die set. It's a really great value um, for the price. So this is how they come. You've got regular circles and you have scallop circles, and you can pick this up in my online Stampin' Up! store. I'll have all the supplies listed on today's blog post. 
So I went ahead and die cut out my circle on my Whisper White, and then I cut my scallop. So it's such a great idea because now I didn't have to use two pieces of Blushing Bride cardstock, and I've got a layer to go behind my thank you, and you'll never know that we cut that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fast Fuse to add my sentiment right on here, and then I'm gonna cover up that a little hole there with my designer paper. And I think I just ran out of fast fuse. And that's why I keep two fast fuse dispensers on my desk because I don't like to waste time having to change it every single time. All right, so I'll just pop that there and look at there. You don't even know it's missing. So cool. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of fast fuse here um, to the back on the sides. And I've got um, a piece of our vintage crochet trim. I love this black crochet trim. Um, this is on the retiring list, so come January 3rd, it will no longer be available. And really, technically, it's while supplies last right now. So if you like this trim, I would suggest heading on to my online store and getting it before it's gone. Same thing with this paper, the quilted Christmas paper that's also on the retiring list. So if you really like it, um, grab it now while you can, because it's while supplies last. And I, I do recommend that paper. It's gorgeous, and it doesn't have to be used for just Christmas, as you can see. All right, so we've got that on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my card base. And I think I forgot to mention that my designer series paper is cut to three and three quarter inches by five inches. I'm just gonna add this to my card base. And for my card base, I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And this is cut at eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, and I've scored it at four and a quarter inches. I've got all of these measurements on today's blog post, so you don't have to worry about writing them down right now. So now I've just got some dimensionals. Popped this up. Alrighty, and I'll just center that on right about there. Okay, so that looks cute. Now I need one more thing. So to tie in that black just a little bit more, I decided to use our black jewel rhinestones, and I just did three. Odd numbers are visually um, appealing. So I put three on here, and I kind of made a triangle formation just like that, and these also, I love these, I'm so sad to see these go, but these are also on the retiring list, so these are while supplies last. So if you wanna grab those, you can also head on to my online store for those. And there we go, that finishes up the card, and I really love it. All right, so I hope that you all enjoyed today's video tutorial and that you love these cards. I'll be sending these cards out by Tuesday, December the 19th. So if you placed an order with me in November, expect one of these little goodies in your mailbox. And thank you so, so much for all of your support, you guys. I really appreciate you. And every single order is important to me, no matter the size. And I hope you feel appreciated. So thank you again. And I will be back soon with another tutorial. Bye now.